Well, pollsters claim they could predict the future, but they really couldn't. We ought to replace them all with our next guest. His classic 70s show is now available on Hulu, and his latest book, The Adventures of the Amazing Kreskin. Please welcome the world's most famous mentalist. He really is the amazing Kreskin. So oh I'm gonna come over here, God. great to see I you. I wanna, I wanna tell you something, folks. Okay. I, I say this unabashedly because uh, I can say this without prejudice because as of uh, two years ago, the airline industry announced I've flown a little over three and one half million miles, up, up to two years ago, three and a half million. So I've worked, I've worked with thousands of people in broadcasting. This is one of the warmest, most genuine persons I have ever met in my life in this world. I mean it. Thank you. I mean it. Thank you. I want to show you something, Mike. I got, I got to share this okay. with you. You never saw me do this with you before, and I, I meant this. I, I, I love this man's work and as a person as well. I have an experiment, folks, and try this as you're in the audience and those of you looking in on camera. These are a number of envelopes. Actually, there are, Mike. There are five envelopes in each okay. pile. And when Mike picks these up, because I'm not going to be mainly the one to handle these. When Mike picks these up, he's going to. Uh, handle them himself. I have a pair of scissors, Mike, and this is the way we'll cut them open. Okay. The bag, by the way, we won't say who got me that, but you can see it was prejudice, T.A. Chris, but no, I'm only kidding you. <laughs> Mike, cut, the, cut this ribbon right there. Okay. And there are here, and by the way, when, when you hold these up to the light, these are uh, envelopes. You can look, you can look there. There's, you can't see what's inside there. Nope, you cannot. There's no way you can see this, what's inside nope. there. And, and, and so forth, it goes like this. Now, folks, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to, uh, this one here, I would like you, Mike, also to leave it stacked in the, in the way it is right there, but I want you to cut it open as well. Okay. Just, and leave it stacked leave right it. there. Yeah, All right. leave it right there. And folks, I'm gonna mix these up. Let me tell you something, folks, these are not marked. Mike, if, I, if there's $1,000 on the table and we were betting, no one would be able to say what's in here. Behind my back, Mike, one at a time, just start, take, take off a few piles. Stop whenever you want. Just start taking one pile at a time off. Okay. Off the top. Just start oh. going off the top. Got one off the top? All right. And stop whenever you want. It doesn't matter. You can, don't take them all, of course. Oh. You got one. Okay. You're going to stop there? Or I'll put stop the rest here. on the table. Put all the right. rest on the table. Now, Mike, take the next one in your hand. Okay. And hold it up to the light at any angle you want. Remember what he's doing. You can't see any colors or anything. Can you, Mike? No, I cannot. I'm hoping... Let me set this aside. Okay. I'm hoping, folks, he's going to feel the colors, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Put it right down here like this. Okay. Now, this is, these here are going to stay where they are. These are five more, and as you can see, uh, there's, you can pick them up and look. look at, there's nothing to see there, Mike, in any way, shape, or no. form. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Let me just set these like this. Well, these are five of them, and I'm going to step away from you now. Because I don't think Mike realizes, we talked about how we're not communicating with each other. It's possible to influence the mind unconsciously, and that's one of the most purest ways of doing it. Empathy is a gift. Mike, here we have five of these here. This is the one you chose there, so leave it over there. Okay. I want you to tap one of these, uh, just tap one of them, any, any one of them, if you will. And, uh, and tap, now leave it there, leave, just oh, leave, it, leave there. it there. And okay. tap with your other hand another one. With the other hand, tap another one. All right, let me take, the, these are the two you tapped right here, Mike? Those two. Let me put these... Right here, folks. Now this time, Mike, and listen to me, I'm not gonna ask you to type something. I want you to pick up one of them with one of your hands. Just pick up one and hold it in your hand and hold it. Hey. Hold it in your hand. All right. Now, folks, I'll set these here as they are, side by side, these four here, and I'm gonna set these four here. And Mike, since you picked that one from these four, would you set it right here? Okay. Set it here. All right. Now, Mike, you wonder why I'm doing this, and folks, you'll understand in a moment, but these are twins, and they are actually inseparable. Mike, tear that one open there. This Not one? Not the one you chose, that one there, yeah. This one of those, yeah, oh. any, any one of those. Oh, okay. The one closest to you is the one you chose, leave it there. Oh, this one. Leave that there, leave it there. Okay. The other one's open. Take what's out, out of there. Now look, folks, what's in there. What is, this is lonely in there by itself. What is it? It's, it's a like sock. Some, a sock. One, yeah. Put it right down there, right down there. Okay. Oh, open one of the other four. All right. And look what he has there, because you can see that these are by themselves 
Lonely, and that's another sock, totally another sock. different design. I pick another one of the four there. Sock it to me, yeah, I guess what you're going to say. Now, what's intriguing yeah. is you'll find another all sock. Different design. Put it right there and pick that one there as well. Okay. Now, remember this, folks. Mike, these are not the ones Mike picked because behind my back, he picked the one that's in front of him. Put this right over here, Mike. Nice don't socks. touch the one. Don't touch the one there that you picked. Okay. Now, here, do the same thing with the four here. The okay. four here because these are pairs of socks. So each sock has a mate, obviously. What one is that there? Does it fit? Uh, it, uh, yes, yep. it goes. You put it right there and open the other. Put it here or over here? Yeah, over there. You pick it, the other one there. Okay. Now, these are all separate. These are in separate piles. He did not know this and put that down, and that goes with that one over there, mm -hmm. and then there's two more right here. The reason I say this is could it be possible, folks, since they were mixed up, and that goes over there, mm -hmm. and there's one... And these are matching. There's a sock and there's the other sock with it. Could he have picked the two? He picked one from that pile there and one from here. Could they be the matching ones? Open that one over there, Mike. That's the one he chose behind my back. And what does that consist of? I have a feeling it stands out. Oh. Sure it does because oh, it's kind of a hollow. Hold that in your hand. Hold that in okay. your hand. What is the other one? Remember, he had any one from here to pick. He did it blindly. And what is that? Well, I can uh, that's guess. It. Now, what is it? That's it. Oh. Well, wait, 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 oh. wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got a problem. Mike. We have a problem. Look. Oh. <laughs> huh? What do you think, folks? <laughs> that one, Mike? Is that why you put him down? Oh. <laughs> I thought you'd find that. How about that? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered where that was going. I said, uh, I've seen you do a lot of stuff, Preskin, but uh, you know, I think we just messed up, and then I you know, pulled that on me. Mentally, he responded on, and there could have been 30 of them there, but by the second decision he made, he, his mind was conditioned, and I thought it was very refreshing. Just to, that's the first time I pulled up my pants in years on television. <laughs> Let's go over well, and visit about that book. All right, folks, I'm going to go over here. <laughs> I couldn't, I thought you'd get a kick out of it. And I Mike, loved it. That's a first, that's a first. I've never done that before in television, but I wanted to save it for him, and I've been calculating on that. My life has been, you know, as I said, uh, uh, with the airline industry, we, we don't fly as much now, but yeah. three and a half million miles, and the stories I could tell you through the years. My life's been an adventure. How long have you been doing this? I'm 85 years old. 85? Yes, wow. and I, uh, and I, uh, Wow. Uh, uh, last year, I did uh, 300 and some programs in one year. I'm still doing two and a half hour concerts. People wonder, what is a mentalist? I mean, you, you don't claim to have Psychic like supernatural power. powers, no, anything don't. like that. But it, it's, is it a power of thought, perception? What is it about being it, a mentalist? Well, I, I'm going to tell a story that maybe I never told you, but I'll tell you what started everything. Uh, when I was a little boy at five years old, there was a comic that was very popular by, by uh, a, a, a very popular, called Mandrake the Magician. He wasn't a magician, he had hypnotic abilities, he had tele, and he was solving crimes and what have you. And Lee Falk, who created him, in the Second World War, it was popular. Fellini wanted to do a movie about him, but he said there would be trick photography. This man had mental abilities. And, and I, as a kid, imitated him when he played huh. cops and robbers, tried to read people's thoughts. When I went out walking with friends or adults, I tried to imitate their walk. And psychologists said, Chris, you realize after a while you were imitating the way they think. You started to learn. You can't teach that. I, that wasn't taught me in school, Mike. It became part of my... And let me tell you something. Years later, when Lee Falk, who created Mandrake, was being awarded, they brought me to the place and he recognized me and said, Chris, can I, I know about your work. One of the most moving moments of my life, as they're honoring him for creating the Phantom and Mandrake, they said, and Lee Falk said, I want to interrupt and tell you folks, this is Kreskin, and in the 35 years I've written this comic, he's the man that's come closest in real life to being truly Mandrake. That was one of the most mm -hmm. moving moments I've ever had in my life. That was a pretty high compliment for someone who was recognizing that you had uh, yeah. been able Hi. to do. I mean, you, you have traveled, I've, I've seen you, you know, years past, you were on Johnny Carson a gazillion times. You've been on every television times. show. Well, you know how, you know, you know what happened with the, uh, Carson did, never knew who I was until I went on Steve Allen's show because uh, Steve Allen left Carson. I got very close with Steve Allen. And he, he, I wasn't known that well, and I wasn't on network shows, so Steve Allen flew me to L.A. 
he introduces me, and I said before the show, maybe I shouldn't meet him before the show. So they said, well, we understand, young man. So Steve Allen said, this man has a gift. It's ESP, it's tele- the Welcome Crescent. And I'm walking towards Steve Allen, watching the camera, <laughs> which in those days, the lights around the camera were bl- blindingly bright. And as I get near Steve Allen, the lights are so bright, I trip over the dais and fall <laughs> flat on my face. <laughs> and Steve Allen was very nice to me. He, said, he gave me 30 minutes of the show. So. But the man watched the show that night. It was Johnny Carson and created Karnak. Yes. And that's where Karnak came from. That's my where falling it came over the from. desk. <laughs> well, I hope people will get the book. Uh, you can find more amazing videos. Man. Get his schedule, merchandise and books, including <laughs> this one, The Adventures of the Amazing Kreskin, at kreskinbook.com. Be oh. sure to follow him on social media and subscribe to his YouTube channel, <laughs> T.A. Kreskin. 